Hey, what's going on everyone? Virginia, the Buckeye Gamer, and I'm back with my pickups for September 2021. I got a nice uh, stack of stuff here. Um, now, most of these I will say I haven't really got to play much, if at all, just really busy, really busy month. Um, but I'm going to start off, I'm going to go in order of console here, so I kind of have them organized that way, but... Anyway, so I do have a Vita game. Now this technically was something that I picked up in August and I forgot to show it. So this is Aegis of Earth, Protonivus Assault. I could have very well virtued that, but um, it is a strat like a tactical strategy game. So I'll get to that eventually. And uh, this next one I, was actually a GameStop pickup. I think I paid maybe $2 for it, I can't remember. But that's Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Now, I personally love the Animal Crossing series. Um, I know it's a very popular series with the Nintendo, but any Nintendo fans out there, you're probably well aware of that. This is considered to be the worst entry in the series because they have it marketed as a like a party game almost. And when this was first announced, um, way back when, a lot of people thought, okay, maybe Maybe it'd be like a Mario Party game, which would have been nice. I think that would have been cool. You know, you have your Animal Crossing characters and things like that. But it, there's just really nothing here. So I did have this game once before, and I don't really regret getting rid of the game. But I do regret getting rid of the Amiibos, because those are kind of hard to find right now. Because there were two Amiibos that were included with this. But... Maybe I'll find those again one day. I'm just not big into Amiibo collecting like I used to be. I actually don't even have any Amiibo displayed in my game room. They're just all in a box right now until I can figure out what to do with them. But anyway, so since I'm going for a complete Wii U collection, I did have to pick that up. So we'll leave it at that. Now next up, I have a few PS4 games we're going to show off. And then this first one is Sonic Colors Ultimate. So this is a remaster slash remake of a game that came out on the Wii, which is a fantastic game, by the way. I highly recommend if you're a Sonic fan and you have a PS4 or Xbox One, I think this came out on the Switch, but I do hear the Switch version has a lot of issues. Definitely, you gotta definitely try this. Um, and it does come with a little keychain. I still have that inside the box. Maybe I'll show that later on. But it is an awesome game, guys. Look, if you love Sonic, you gotta give this a shot. It's an absolute must. And I think this edition here is $40. I don't know um, if you can pick it up just the game by itself. Maybe save a little bit. I'm not totally sure. Okay, let's see here. So I got a couple, couple more PS4 games here to show off real quick. First, uh, well, the next one I have here is NBA 2K22. Um, now this of course did also come out on the PS5, and this is actually a first for me. Um, I do not play very many sports games, but when I do, I get them when they're insanely cheap. This of course just got released and I paid full price for it. Um, my husband and I kind of went halvesies on it because since he's using my Star Wars PS4 now, um, he wanted to play this. And the main reason is, it's kind of in really small type here, but this is a 75th anniversary edition. so. It has teams and rosters from way back in the earlier days um, of the NBA. I think the furthest back it goes, it doesn't go way back 75 years ago, although that would be awesome. Um, the earliest that I could see, I believe, was the Los Angeles Lakers and the Boston Celtics during the 1964 season. So again, which is cool. That is really neat. Um, I think they may have did this once before years ago, but yeah, it was kind of kind of cool to have this. It does cost a bit more, so keep that in mind if you do want to pick this up. But it's really fun. I have not enjoyed a sports game like this for quite a while, so so yeah. And then uh, next up, last PS4 game for this haul, and that is Tales of Berseria. Now, Tales of is a fantastic RPG series, uh, one of my favorites actually. Um, this is one game in it I have not played yet. Um, so I do hear it's a little darker than some of the other Tales games, but that's okay. Um, I definitely can't wait to get into it. Uh, I'm currently playing another Tales game in the series, which you guys will see here in a minute. Um, but once I finish that, I'm going to go back and try to play some of the ones that I haven't played yet because I do have um, most of them in physical form now. So, so yeah. All right. 
And then next up, I do have some PS5 games. So we're actually going to start, gonna go in order of what I haven't played versus what I have played. So first one I have here is Lost Judgment. And if you can't tell by the reflection there, uh, this game is actually currently installing on my PS5. So this is a sequel to Judgment, which came out on the PS4 a few years back. Fantastic game, um, takes place in the Yakuza universe, which I have live streamed Yakuza games a few times on my channel. So you know, again, that is another one of my favorite series. Um, and I, I love the first Judgment game and I've heard good things about this one. So I definitely cannot wait to try it out. I might actually, before I finish the other game I'm currently playing, I might just dive into this anyway. Uh, second one I actually got on sale um, is Metro Exodus, uh, the PS5 complete edition. So I don't know much at all about the Metro series, uh, but again, I got it really cheap, so I figured it'd be worth trying out. So I am sorry about the glare from my computer screen, guys. I guess I should have turned it off, but anyhow. All right, so this next one um, is like a indie title, a very cute indie title, by the way. And I believe it's pronounced Hoa or Hoa or Ha or some, uh, something like that. I'm going to say Hoa. But you're this little, little fairy fella. I want to say he's a fairy. Um, but the, really the only way I can describe this is like an indie platformer, I guess. But it is very cute. Um, and I was actually able to beat this in about three hours. So it is very short um, and very cheap. But I do have a specific reason as to why I got this, which I probably will cover um, in a future video. It's actually a very special reason why I got this. So anyway, uh, next one um, was actually a game that I kind of highlighted in my uh, video where I was talking about why game achievements don't matter much to me. <laughs> and that is Life is Strange True Colors. So very fantastic, um, heavily story-based adventure game. Um, no real action to it whatsoever. It's really just button prompts and uh, choices that you make, which do affect the story, by the way, depending on what choices you make. But a very beautiful game, like the art style is good, the characters are memorable. Um, I got all the trophies in it, so you probably think I don't have much reason to go back to it, but I probably will just because I enjoyed the story that much. And there is a DLC pack coming out for it here in a couple of weeks. So definitely check out Life is Strange. And I'm actually going to do a video. Um, I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'm going to do a video about this uh, franchise as a whole. So stay tuned for that because it's going to be good. All right. And last but not least is Tales of Arise for the PS5. I've put probably 20 some hours into this game. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's a little bit different in a way from previous Tales games. Again, if you're familiar with that, but I love the art style on it. Very beautiful. And again, the characters are so memorable on this one, even more so than some of the past games. Um, the only thing I can say I don't necessarily, I can't say that I don't like it because it is getting better now, but um, Tales games are known for their skits. So those are usually done like in between uh, cut scenes or different story events where you push a button and the characters kind of interact with each other. So they talk about um, either past events, you know, maybe something that just happened in the game or just completely random conversations that don't make any sense. Um, the older Tales games were a little more comical and more cartoonish, which I thought, I thought a lot of them were hilarious. This one takes on a more realistic approach and I don't necessarily have an issue with that. Um, it just kind of lacks that comedic, you know, hilarious feel like the past Tales games do now. Again, now that I have a bigger character roster in here, um, it is better. So it is getting better. So I will say that. Um, but anyway, guys, so that is my haul. Give you one other look here. See if maybe uh, we can get this as a screenshot. Or not a screenshot, but the thumbnail. Um, but yeah, that is my haul, guys, for September 2021. Um, and I... You guys need to stay tuned next week for a very awesome video. I'm not going to go into details to what it is, but I know you guys are going to enjoy it um, because I'm actually going to be starting to film it once I'm done here and I am so hyped for it. So 
you know, just stay tuned for that next week. Um, and in the meantime, if you like what you see on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. And you can comment if you wish, leave a like, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a great day and keep on gaming.